Good evening guys and welcome back to the channel. I've driven past this location numerous times. Now every time I drive past I think one day, one day I'm going to call him, get a shot. I'm in the general area again so I thought right while I'm here let's get a shot. We're about maybe 20 minutes half an hour from sunset. We've got a lot of cloud knocking about which is good but we've got a break in the clouds which will give us a nice bit of light onto the scene. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to shoot it with the Leica Q2. I may even stay into blue hour. I've got a nice little park up here for the time being and uh, I think it could be another blue hour attempt. So uh, watch this space, let's see how we go. Now for whatever reason I am a fan of old structures, old buildings, old barns, old rack and ruin sheds, that sort of thing. They really do appeal to me and this is no exception. It's all that's left of an old house, an old homestead, I don't actually know what was here, there's nothing to tell me what was here before, uh, but all that's left is the chimney stack and it's made out of old red brick and it just looks, I don't know, it just stands there on its own, stands the test of time, it's been here God knows how long and I just love it, I think it's just uh, it's a reminder of things long since past and I, I, I think it's going to make a nice photograph, that's the upshot, it's going to make a nice picture, let's, uh, let's do what we do best, stop waffling about crap I know nothing about and uh, make a photograph which I like to think I do know something about so come on I'm loving this I'm just walking around the chimney breast get a few different angles on it checking out the brickwork looks like an old mate of mine Gwyn Parker from back in England he was a bricklayer loosely speaking and it looks like some of his handiwork to be fair but uh, don't tell him I said that the van's in the way I reckon the chimney breast this big tree I don't know, I don't know, it's a big tree, I should know what it is, but I don't. It'll come to me. Uh, so I'm going to move the van a little bit out of the way. So, with the van there, I was having to cut out part of the tree, but I think moving the van lets me get the whole tree in, puts it in context of where it is. The only thing that's now worrying me is this sort of uh, metal gate. Uh, that might be in the shot, but uh, ah, it is what it is. Before I forget, my apologies to the farmer or the landowner. If uh, if he sees this video at any time and sees me crawling about in his field, I assure you, I'm taking nothing but photographs and leaving nothing but footprints. I'm not even leaving footprints, to be fair. I'm not that heavy. The ground's bone dry, so it uh, should be all good, I reckon. Fingers crossed. Hopefully. Now, we are getting some stunning light on the chimney. Beautiful, with sort of dark, moody clouds behind. Is looking pretty good now just over there a big bank of cloud there now i reckon that's going to light up pretty cool i think it's going to cast some uh, some glowing red light this whole cloud bank i think it's going to look pretty cool so we'll just stick around see how that goes and then maybe into blow hour as well why not the landowner the farmer came along just check out what i was up to and uh and he, he was great top bloke i shot a video of his rugby team a while back so uh, he kind of knew who i was i appreciate you letting me rummage about in your paddock i was asking him about the history of the place and uh, yeah you just never know about these places there's always some history some of it good some of it not so good but it's history Okay, the sun's just about down now, so uh, now we wait. We, I don't think we're gonna have to wait long actually, because uh, that sky, I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna get some serious colour in that sky. How cool is this? Oh, this is gonna be spectacular. I'm telling you now, this is gonna be stellar. Oh. Would you just look at the way that cloud is forming around the chimney? Oh, mate, honestly. Whew. This is why I do this. Eh, go down to the pub, get a few beers. Party hard. Nah, get out here in the middle of a frigging cow paddock shooting this stuff. What a mug. Hey, <laughs> but I love it. I'm 
more than happy with what I've got so far. And, uh, and we've still got blue hour to come yet. Oh, does life get much better than this? Probably. <laughs>